Hey, what's up guys? Matt from Upfront Mining back at you with another video and mining basement update. Um, so, a couple of things you'll notice here is that uh, the secondary shelf was actually removed in favor of these two uh, row tents we have here. Let me just walk on over through here. So we have, uh, we have basically two grow tents going on right now. We have one grow tent here on the left and another grow tent on the right. And we have uh, eight inch inlet and exhaust running out of both tents. So the exhaust at the top, inlets at the bottom. Uh, and we have these running out of the tubes here uh, through the windows up here. So we have exhaust right over here. We have our, our exhaust set up. So here's the uh, eight inch inline fan for exhaust. We have two of them and we have two inline fans here for uh, intake as well. And this is running through a filter I put together that needs to be replaced. Basically, I just took a furnace filter and just jammed it in there just to filter some of the dirt out. It sounds really low tech and it is. It's probably a bad idea, but it seems to be working all right. I need to do a better window filter solution than that. I'll do that probably sometime next week or something. Um, but. Yeah, this is the old laundry top. I literally ripped it out of that corner. I need to get that out of here. I got too much crap in the basement basically right now. So I really want to convert this into a nice looking operation. We're, you know, maybe we're going to have the gym still on this side. And then maybe just over here, I have the two grow tents and then a row of shelving. And that's what this video is about. So this video is inspired by Red Panda. Red Panda, dude, if you're watching this, giving you a shout out to these Costco shelves. Uh, we're both located in Canada, I think. I'm not sure where he's located. I think he's in Alberta or something. I'm in Ontario. But uh, to my Canadian mining brethren, these are shelves from uh, Costco. I got a really good deal for these shelves. I think it was under 200 bucks for these shelves, Canadian. And they, they're rated to hold like 800 to 1,000 pounds on each shelf. Um, the problem was, is look how tall it is. I basically had this shelf stacked here and I had all the rigs stacked at one point. The problem was all the heat would just like kind of rise up from the, from the rigs below and it would just, you'd get all this heat soak into the rigs above it. So as you guys have probably watched Red Panda's videos, he's constantly and repeatedly shown his basement set up there. And his basement set up, he's got the same shelves, but what he's done in a clever way is he's removed the top portion of the shelves and uh, basically just put the mining rigs in the bottom. I mean, it makes sense because the, the air is cooler in the bottom anyways. And you don't want all this extra space. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to actually go, let me get around here. We're going to go and take, uh, take these off. These actually unscrew. So I've got the hammer out here. I've been kind of removing, uh, removing these shelves one at a time. So I'm going to basically just have side by side on the floor here. We're going to have this shelf for the 3080, 3090 rigs. I got the fan blowing cooler air from upstairs in to create like a cool kind of lean. And this blows the hot air this way. And that, that rig will also go there as well. And then inside behind there, we have the grow tents. So the system all together has managed to drop the temperatures down here by at least seven or eight degrees, which is pretty crazy, especially when you're dealing with winter temperatures, or sorry, summer temps. So I got all the shelves there. They all came off. I got the one, uh, that's another rig that came offline. This one, my power supply blew up. I took the, uh, the power supply out of that one and I put it into that one, to the 3080 rig where my thir with, the, with that 1300 watt power supply literally just popped on me the other day. Uh, it was a very scary situation. If you haven't watched that video, go watch that video. It was a really scary situation. It popped on me. Um, uh, but anyways, yeah, so I'm going to take uh, that top off. I'll put it there. I'll be right back. Okay, here's what we got, guys. All right, so we have the, uh, the 30, 80, 30, 90 rigs there, and we have this shelf here right next to it, red panda style, which means Costco shelves chopped in half close to the floor. So we got that one, we got that one. Um, so what I've done here is we got a fan blowing the cold air through functions as a cool aisle for these
these shelves and then we got these powerful ASIC fans on these rigs blowing the air this way. Um, I was unable to put the 3080s and 3090s in the tent because it was literally getting it was getting unbearably hot in there. The cards couldn't handle. The core temperature was like getting really, really hot. It's not enough, there wasn't enough cold airflow into the tent. So like these guys, they just can't go in the tent. I tried them on their own, like with just like a the 1660 uh, Ti rig, and it's still the same issue. It was just way too hot in there. Was, these these cards are just putting out too much heat to be contained by a smaller tent. Maybe a larger tent. Uh, I could do it in maybe a larger tent with like maybe two exhausts and two inlets, but these. These cards needed to get it moved out here, so that's why we have the the red panda style um, uh, shelving here. This t uh, this rig's currently down because I salvaged the uh, power supply and put it into here. That's the one that popped actually, um, and I got the wires running into the PDU, which is over here. So the PDU is also powering the rigs inside the tent. And then this tent has its own PDU as well inside. I got the uh, meter box uh, meters coming, so I'll be building the meter boxes out soon and probably mounting them on the wall there so I'll know exactly what the power usage of this PDU is. This one's pretty much maxed out. We're pretty much at 24, um, 24 amps on this one at 240 volt. So you look there, it's kind of upside down, but it's, it's basically reading out 22 to 24 amps. It's pretty much maxed out just because these two use so much power. Uh, this one is my converted stove outlet. And once again, guys, the reason I had to use the stove outlet is that this house comes with a really crappy uh, panel. I only have 100 amps on it. Uh, and I have a 40 amp car charger in the garage that also takes up 40 amps. So I had to salvage the 240 volt from somewhere else and I basically just did, took it from the stove. I did a video on that if you want to go check that out. Um, and I just use the stove top now on 120 volt to cook with. Because I don't use the oven. I'm not like Martha Stewart or anything. I don't bake ever. I bake crypto, yo. I bake, I bake some crypto coin. That's what I'm baking. Um, anyways, guys. Yeah, so this is cool. Uh, we're just going to hop on a computer and take a look at these Costco shells if you want one. And uh, I'll see you there. Yo, what's up guys? Matt from Upsilon Mining coming back at you with another video on crypto mining, GPU mining specifically. And today we're just going to talk about Red Panda inspired shelving units. Red Panda, if you're hearing this boss, you're an inspiration to us all. Thank you for the idea today that I just kind of thought. I've been watching Red Panda's videos and I'm sure most of you guys have been watching Red Panda's videos for a long, long time. He's one of the, the OGs of mining, I would think. And he's been around for years i'm such a newbie like literally six months um but literally guys uh he shows his basement his mining basement repeatedly and in those videos he will show these metal shelves and i never thought it never occurred to me what those shelves were <laughs> until and, and this funny thing is i had this exact same shelves i've had the same shelves since i started all this and these are the seville classic six shelf commercial shelving unit from costco 179.99 Canadian dollars. Steal of a deal. Not too bad. When I saw this, I'm like, man, I need to get those shelves. And these shelves hold 800 pounds. I can very easily stand on each one of these shelves and jump up and down a couple times. No problem at all. Um, but what uh, he did, really interestingly, is he cut these shelves in half. So as you saw in the video I just, I just uh, showed you guys, is I did the same thing. I was running this full shelf, uh, full of rigs, top to bottom. And... It's a durable shelf, absolutely, and the idea was great, but like all great ideas, they come refined over time. So with this shelving unit, you can place multiple shelves, at least two six-rig uh, GPUs, or you can stack single eight or 12 G uh, GPU rigs up and down the shelves. And they're adjustable too, which makes it really cool for, uh, for mining. You can adjust the shelf height to fit what you want. You can probably put a 12 GPU rig there and another 12 GPU rig there. I was running six GPU uh, rigs side by side here, 30, 90, and 30, 80 rigs, and I had multiple rigs up top. The problem with that is the heat tends to rise up um, and affect the, the, the GPUs above. So if you watch some of the Red Panda's videos, you'll see that he actually does quite a, inter quite a few interesting things where he actually will cut the shelves in half. And, um, <laughs> and I basically did that myself. Um, so I'm thinking this will be good. This is a great shelf, guys. I mean, if you want to pick up a shelf for crypto mining, it's pretty good. Um, 
but I don't recommend stacking the units high because heat rises. So what um, what we're doing now is I'm just basically cutting the shelf in half and making two shelves out of the one shelf basically and putting them across the floor and then blowing the air through as you saw in the video there. So I mean $179.99 is a pretty good steal of a deal. You could pick one up uh, at your local Costco if you're in Canada. I'm not sure in the States, you probably guys have lots more options over there as well. Um, but if we take a look at some of the other options here, so I'm in Ontario. Um, this is a $179.99 shelving unit, works pretty good. This one looks really cool, This is, uh, but it's like literally the price difference. Uh, $349.99. Now this is nice. This would be really cool to have, but it's really not necessary, I don't think, unless you want to spend that extra money. Um, even this one looks pretty interesting too. This one looks like a four-tier um, shelving unit as well. You could probably take that and make two shelves. It's probably like screws in here and here. You could make two shelves out of that as well. Uh, it looks not as durable as that one though. If you want to go crazy, you can use something like this, but this is this is best for maybe like a garage. You can store engine blocks on this for crying out loud. Like that's how crazy heavy duty that is. But it looks cooler if you got the space, but I mean why get anything more unwieldy than necessary? A lot of the guys in the States I know are using like these husky shelves, which are pretty cool as well. So if I go to Home Depot. Let's go to Home Depot. Ah man, I can't type. Home Depot, let's check out um Red shelves. I think they're red shelves. Red uh, Red Fox has these as well. These are cool, but they're also like like these ones. Maybe these ones. I'm not sure which ones. Guys, if you're watching this, do you, if you know which shelves they're using, uh, comment below. This looks like a nice shelf. 225, 48 inch by 48 by 78 inch shelving unit. That looks cool too. It looks, just looks cooler, but uh, I don't know. I mean, you still beat the price at Costco for it. 168. Some of these longer shelves are running 318. Um, so yeah, I don't. I'm not really a fan of stacking shelves any, stacking rigs anymore, just because of that heat issue. So I don't know. What do you guys think? What kind of shelving units do you guys have? Uh, did you guys notice that Red Panda uses these Costco shelves for you guys in Canada? I mean, pick up these. I mean, I never picked up on it until like just literally today, and I'm like, man, those are Costco shelves. <laughs> it was so funny. Anyways, guys, I just thought I would just make a quick video about that and uh, show you what I was working on with the basement down there. Um, as I mentioned, I can't get those 3080s and 3090s into the grow tent just because the heat is so unwieldy uh, in there. And they're just pumped. They're just there's too much wattage going through those cards, and they're actually causing a lot of issues with the um, the heat is, uh, issues on the rigs and everything. So I decided to just take them out just because just can't handle the heat. Just can't handle the heat, guys. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like the video, and smash the like button, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.